Well, Tom and Rick, one of the strengths of the Orioles lineup this year, and it still may turn out to be this way, is the balance in the lineup. And Mike, even with J.J. Hardy and Matt Wieters out, we're beginning to see contributions up and down the lineup. And one player that is so important to the success of this team is Manny Machado. Now, he's still only 22. He's really coming on. What are you seeing from Manny as of late that you maybe didn't see earlier in the year that has led to his sudden surge? Well, I think right off top, his rhythm and timing is back. You know, Manny's had some knee surgeries the past few years, so he's had to recover from that. But uh, the timing in spring training was a little bit off. Even though his bat path was great, uh, I think just the rhythm and timing of the game kind of snuck up on him again. We saw that the year before when he was recovering from that knee surgery. But right now, this guy is as healthy as he's going to be. But his legs are underneath him. He's confident, and he's hitting lasers all over the field. His home run numbers are up. Now, back in 2013, he had 51 doubles. I think everybody in the baseball world realizes that young players, those doubles are going to translate into home runs. Well, it's coming on this year. Five home runs already through the month of April. And so much of it is because of the health of his legs. He has a great foundation underneath him. He trusts his body right now, so he's not trying to do too much. He's had a great swing from the time he was uh, 18 years old when the Orioles first drafted him. So right now he's coming down on the ball. He has a great bat path, and he's successful with it. All right, show us uh, what you mean by coming down on the ball and the great bat path that he has and why that's so important for consistency in getting base hits. Yeah. Well, you see, Manny, at a real young age, he already had a great swing. He would take the bat head to the baseball, A to B, right down on the ball. There was no extra drag or anything. And when he was younger, you would see times where he would try too hard. And when a hitter tries too hard, the bat head drags at the, at the onset of the swing. And that caused a lot of weak pop-ups and weaker contact. Right now, Manny is right down to the baseball, and he's so long, he can keep the bat head through the strike zone a long time to protect from off-speed pitches, and he has great extension. And when he's getting that backspin, we're seeing the carry right now. So it's only gonna get better for Manny. He has a great swing, and I think with the leg strength and the health, you're gonna see uh, more power numbers from Machado. All right, now here's the thing about Manny, he's still only 22 years old, even though he's been around since 2012. What are you seeing maturity-wise as he develops into a more veteran hitter as opposed to a young hitter? You know, I think so much of being a, a mature hitter is just experience, repetitions at the plate. And Manny's been really lucky here the past few years. He's had great veterans around him. In the infield, J.J. Hardy. Last year, Nelson Cruz, one of the best power hitters in the game. And they have very similar work habits, very similar swing pass. They work together in the offseason. And, you know, Nelson Cruz can really stay on him. He did last year. And I think Manny picked up on this thing to keep that swing consistent. Right now, if he gets in trouble, he's able to recall quicker, make adjustments quicker, sometimes even between pitches. And we're seeing, seeing have uh, better plate coverage, better contact all around the field. And like we talked about, the power is there because of a true bat path right to the baseball, creating good backspin. All right, the other part of maturing as a hitter is coping with frustration. Every hitter gets frustrated, even the most seasoned veterans. But when Manny gets frustrated, you really see it. I mean, he, he doesn't shy away from letting you know that he's displeased, whether it be a, a pop-up or an umpire pirate's call or whatever. How do you overcome that to not enable the frustration to consume you as a hitter? Well, I think uh, most players, whether baseball player or any sport you play, there's going to be that competition aspect where you want to do so much for the team. You obviously want to put up good numbers. When it doesn't happen at that particular time, you get frustrated. There is anger that happens in the game, whether you swing at a bad pitch. And now I think we're seeing, sure, the anger's on the field, but it's all part of a competition, a passion for the game, wanting to do so well. But he's able to turn the page a little quicker. He's not carrying it over to the next at bat or taking it out in the field. And that's really the true sign of a, of a young player becoming more of a veteran experience type player. All right, so Tom and Rick, Manny's bat really came on on the homestand. This technically is the continuation of the homestand, so we'll see if the bat keeps it going here in his home away from home, at least for this weekend at Tropicana Field.